Welcome everyone to our awards celebration. I'm Anton Armstrong, conductor of the St. Olaf Choir, a longtime board member of Chorus America and the current chair elect of the organization as I prepare to assume the position of chair at our June conference. We're so happy to share the celebration, both with those of you who are watching with us now and those of you who will have an opportunity to watch in the future. While I think we can all agree there is no substitute for being together in person, I do appreciate the way that sharing this event online offers more of our awardees and the chance to take part along with their communities of supporters and friends. If you are watching live, I hope you'll take the opportunity to chime in in the chat to say hello and offer your own congratulations. This event also leads up to Chorus America's first in-person conference event in three years, which starts on Wednesday, June 15th in Baltimore. We'll be recognizing our award winners at conference as well, and I hope to have the chance to see many of you there too. Chorus America's awards not only honor the recipients and celebrate their accomplishments, but also encourage and inspire our whole field. Our deepest thanks to the many dedicated panelists who participated in the selection process and to the amazing Chorus America staff for guiding the process and managing all of the detail involved. I'd like to begin the celebration with Course America's newest award, the Alice Parker Fund Award. The award was established this year to support the composition and thoughtful presentation of choral music based in the traditions of Black and Latinx communities. We're so grateful to our beloved Alice for inspiring this award and to the many donors whose support made it possible. This award comes with the $2,000 prize. The Alice Parker Fund will be presented annually, recognizing the exemplary work of a Black or Latinx composer or an ensemble that respectfully and authentically presents works incorporating these traditions and experiences. The award will alternate between recognizing an individual and organization from year to year. In this inaugural year, the award recognizes an individual composer, my dear friend, Rollo Dilworth. Please enjoy this video highlighting Rollo and his incredible body of work. A renowned conductor, a master educator, and a prolific composer and arranger, Rollo Dilworth celebrates the music of Black communities through his arrangements of spirituals and his compositions in the gospel, blues, and jazz traditions. His work invites conductors, singers, and audiences alike to explore the rich traditions of African-American choral music respectfully and authentically. With a remarkable catalog of over 200 choral pieces, Dilworth is one of the most frequently performed composers living today. His works are sung by choruses in schools, universities, and churches, and by community choruses and professional ensembles. Most important, his music is beloved by musicians of all ages and all over the world. Rollo Dilworth's immense impact on musical culture in the U.S. and beyond makes him a fitting recipient of this inaugural Alice Parker Fund Award. Hello, Rollo. I'm so glad to be with you on this very special day. And I have a song for you. Come, follow, follow, Rollo, follow, Rollo, cheerfully. Through the running notes will follow, Rollo, running through the notes will follow he. There to raise him, there to praise him, there to thank him, cheerfully. And we do thank you, Rollo. Whoever can resist that wonderful smile, that beaming face, and that real love for music and song that inspires you. May it long continue. Lots of love. 
It is truly an honor to be the inaugural recipient of the Alice Parker Fund Award. As a composer, arranger, and music educator, I've spent much of my career admiring, studying, teaching, and conducting the works of Alice Parker. I am in awe of Alice's commitment to preserving and centralizing the vocal and group singing traditions that shaped the American musical landscape. In a number of ways, Alice's work inspired me to pursue a similar purpose in my work as a composer and arranger. In particular, I have sought to create meaningful arrangements of African-American spirituals that would not only teach these historic melodies to singers and audiences of all ages, but to also take these songs a step further by fusing them with contemporary African-American styles such as blues, jazz, and gospel. In my work as a composer, I have sought to, and will continue to, amplify the words of well-known poets such as Langston Hughes, Paul Lawrence Dunbar, Maya Angelou, and Gwendolyn Brooks. I wish to extend my heartfelt thanks to Course America and to Alice Parker for selecting me for this prestigious award. Thank you for those words, Rollo, and thank you for all you have given to our field. Next up is the Louis Botto Award for Innovative Action and Entrepreneurial Zeal. This award was established in memory of Louis Botto for his artistry, selfless service to the choral art, and entrepreneurial spirit in founding the men's vocal ensemble Chanticleer. Louis brought Chanticleer to national prominence as the first professional choral ensemble in the United States to consistently offer full-time employment to its singers. The award is given periodically to an individual who, through his or her work with a member of Chorus America, has demonstrated the same characteristics in developing a professional choral ensemble. The 2022 winner of this award is Brandon Elliott. Let us tell you a little bit about Brandon. Innovation and entrepreneurial thinking fuel Brandon Elliott's work as a champion of new choral music. In the 10 years since he founded Orange County's Choral Arts Initiative, the ensemble has commissioned 19 choral works and presented 70 premieres, all in service of CAI's mission to offer diverse, relevant, and compelling programming to its community. Under Elliott's leadership, CAI met the COVID-19 pandemic with an unwavering commitment to paying its singers and collaborators and to investing in artistic projects. Elliott's unique initiatives include CAI's premier Project Festival, which has become a nationally known incubator and accelerator for emerging composers. For as long as I've known him, Brandon Elliott has been committed to working at the intersection of musicality and innovation. This isn't just at the forefront of Brandon's work with Choral Arts Initiative, but an essential part of who he is. Brandon is an open, flexible, and imaginative collaborator. He has always placed tremendous value on serving living composers, and his actions back up this commitment. In the educational component of Choral Arts Initiative's Premier Project Festival, in Brandon's thoughtful, inventive, and diverse programming, and in his impeccably sung performances. Congratulations, Brandon. For his determined vision and his work at the intersection of musicality and innovation, Brandon Elliott is awarded the Louis Botto Award for Innovative Action and Entrepreneurial Zeal. It truly is a privilege to accept this award and be considered part of the success of Choral Arts Initiative. Thank you to Chorus America for this wonderful recognition. It is an honor to receive an award which recognizes the inspiring legacy of Louis Botto. As conductors, we know that our choral organizations are nothing without its dedicated, committed, and passionate singers. So to the choral artists, I'm profoundly grateful for your artistry. 
Thank you again to Chorus America, to my former teachers who continue to serve as mentors in my life, to my students, to our family of supporters at Choral Arts Initiative, and to the entire Chorus America community for inspiring the important and ongoing work in our field. Thank you, Brandon. I know we are all looking forward to what the future will bring for you and your work with Choral Arts Initiative. Our next award, the Dale Worland Singers Commission Award is presented in partnership with the American Composers Forum. We're very grateful for ACF's longtime partnership and I'm pleased to introduce Vanessa Rose, ACF's Executive Director to present this award. Hello, I'm Vanessa Rose, Executive Director of American Composers Forum or ACF. The Dale Vorland Singers Commission Award was created in 2008 to honor Dale's lifelong commitment to new music and is made possible by the Dale Vorland Singers Fund of New Choral Music. A permanently restricted endowment fund established in 2004 to honor Dale and the singers. ACF, in partnership with Chorus America, offers a $7,500 commission award plus an additional $2,500 to support travel or other expenses related to the new work's performance. Chorus has applied for the annual award in partnership with a composer of their choice for a specified commission project. The new work must be premiered by the Chorus within two years of the award. The 2022 winner is Exigence, a Sphinx organization vocal ensemble directed by Eugene Rogers. Here's more information about their special partnership with composer Carlo Simon. A choral oratorio that spotlights the rich musical history of Detroit will come into being next year, nurtured by the Dale Warland Singers Commission Award. Exigence, a professional vocal ensemble led by Eugene Rogers, will work with dynamic composer Carlos Simon on a project that highlights the artistry of Black and Latinx communities and explores themes of freedom, justice, hope, and service. Exigence is part of the Sphinx organization, which has built a robust community of Black and Latinx artists in its hometown of Detroit. Rogers, Simon, and the artists of Exigence will engage with these community partners as they develop the work. They will also provide creative learning experiences for the city's young artists through a series of improvisation, composition, and choral workshops leading up to and accompanying the 2024 premiere. Grounded in Detroit's cultural legacy, this award-winning commission will share a vision that is accessible, relevant, and reflective of a widely diverse audience. I'm so honored to have been chosen for the Dale Warland Singers Commission Award. It is a true joy to not only have the opportunity to work with Eugene Rogers and Exigence, but to write a piece that recognizes the rich musical history of Detroit. I'm so grateful and I cannot wait to start the journey of creating this new work. Thank you. What an honor it is to receive this Dale Warland Singers Commission Award on behalf of the Exigence Vocal Ensemble and Offa Dworkin, our president and CEO of the Sphinx Organization. I can think of no better way to celebrate the legacy of the rich music history of the city of Detroit than this partnership with Carlos Simon, the Sphinx Symphony Orchestra, and the community and students from the Detroit Public Schools. We hope this project and commission makes a profound contribution to the much needed repertoire of choral orchestral works by BIPOC composers. As an organization, we humbly accept this award and salute Brazil Denard for his rich commitment to choral excellence in our city of Detroit and nation.
And personally, I am eternally grateful to Chorus America and the American Composers Forum and Dale Warland for his support of my career and his amazing legacy of championing new choral works. Thank you, American Composers Forum and Chorus America and board for this incredible honor and recognition. Please join me in sending congratulations to Exigence and Carlos Simon. I know I will be looking forward to the premiere of this exciting new work. Chorus America established the Michael Korn Founders Award for the development of the professional choral art to honor Michael Korn. Michael was artistic director and conductor of the Philadelphia Singers, which he founded in 1972. He was also the driving force behind the founding of Chorus America itself. And he served as his first president from 1977 to 1985. The 2022 recipient of the Michael Korn Founders Award for development of the professional choral art is Grant Rishan. Let's hear more about Grant and his incredible contributions to the field. Grant Gershon's adventurous and boundary-pushing artistic vision elevates the field of professional choral music and sets a course for a vibrant future. During his 20 years at the helm of the Los Angeles Master Chorale, he has transformed the organization into a fully professional 100-voice ensemble that is admired around the world. The chorale's programming includes groundbreaking works like a theatrical version of Orlando Di Lasso's Lagrime di San Pietro, directed by Peter Sellers, the 2022 Grammy award-winning recording of Mahler's Symphony No. 8 with the Los Angeles Philharmonic, and frequent commissions from both emerging and established artists. In 2020, Gershon pledged that 50% of the chorale's future programming would elevate work by composers from historically excluded groups, including people of color and women. For decades, Grant has been building up our art form by inviting, by leading through listening, by advocating for voices to be heard, and for singers to find community and belonging. You continuously show us how to dream bigger and to dream wider and guide us to reconsider what is possible for a choral organization. I don't know of a fiercer musician who is also such a gentle and humble leader. It means so much to have someone like you to look up to and to offer an open channel to guide the following generations. Thank you so much for everything you do. Congratulations, Grant. We salute Grant Gershon's artistic curiosity, musical prowess, and humble, generous, and inspiring leadership with the Michael Korn Founders Award for Development of the Professional Choral Art. Oh my goodness, you guys. Thank you so much. I'm very, very honored and humbled by this award. And I accept this on behalf of my home team, the LA Master Chorale. I'm super grateful that Chorus America has this award that's dedicated to nurturing the art of professional choral singers and professional choral ensembles. There are way too many people for me to thank uh, but I'm going to start quickly at the beginning with the founders of the Master Chorale, one of whom is very well known to Chorus America, Marshall Rudder. Uh, I've also been incredibly fortunate to have the generous and knowledgeable board of directors uh, that I've worked with over these years, and particularly the, the leadership of our two most recent board chairs, Phil Swan and David Gindler. I'm the luckiest dude in showbiz, uh, or at least the luckiest artistic director that I know of, because I've had the 
benefit of not one, but two extraordinary partners here. And uh, that is Terry Knowles and now our current uh, president and CEO, Gene Davidson. Uh, also Kevin, uh, Kevin Cable and Andy Brown, who helped to guide the inner workings of the organization and to make the transition from a hybrid ensemble to the fully professional ensemble that we are today. But most of all, this award is for the singers of the LA Master Chorale, whose artistry, commitment, passion, sophistication, and, and sense of humor are second to none. Our future is very, very exciting indeed, thanks to this incredible group of artists. So on behalf of them, on behalf of the whole LA Master Chorale, and on behalf of myself, thank you, Chorus America. Congratulations to you, Grant, for your extraordinary work. My friend, you have been an inspiration to me and for so many others. Our next award honors the life and legacy of educator, conductor, and arranger, Brazil Wayne Denard. As a young conductor nearly 40 years ago, teaching in Grand Rapids, Michigan, Brazil Denard reached out to me he nurtured me, he encouraged me, he invited me to attend his rehearsals of his high school ensemble. And I learned so much about being an educator and a conductor who looked beyond the Western canon. This award celebrates individuals or organizations whose work builds upon Brazil Denard's commitment to diversity, inclusiveness, and furthering African-American choral traditions and other diverse choral music traditions through performance, research, or new compositions of significance. The award includes a $2,500 prize. The 2022 Brazil Wayne Denard Award is presented to Cantare from Oakland to California. This video highlights this very special group. Cantare's commitment to diverse musical traditions and inclusive educational efforts runs deep. Since its founding in 1987, the group has used choral music as its medium to heighten awareness, appreciation, and acceptance, and to celebrate its Oakland, California community. Led by artistic director David Morales, Cantare's three adult volunteer choruses specialize in culturally thematic concerts with a particular focus on African-American and Latin American history and musical traditions. Cantare also reaches nearly 2,500 students in its city's Title I schools every week with a program that provides tuition-free access to quality music education. At the core of Cantare Convivo's excellence are the ability to create culturally diverse music and culturally diverse community. As a former member of the Brazil Denard Chorale, I can testify that Cantari is well deserving of this honor of the Brazil Denard Award because Brazil brought to the Detroit community not only music of world composers, but also the music of African American composers rarely known. When I joined Cantari and discovered the opportunity to learn music by new African American composers and also found out about our children's program, I told David it was like joining Brazil's group all over again. This year's Brazil Wayne Denard Award recognizes Cantare's long-standing vision of inspiring people to live in harmony, treating one another with dignity. I am David Morales, founder and artistic director of Cantari Convivo in Oakland, California. I am most grateful in having Chorus America recognize Cantari's efforts in bringing a rich cultural diversity of choral music to our Bay Area community. 
It is pleasing to receive affirmation for what is our mission and vision in establishing a compassionate community through the power and beauty of choral music across boundaries that too often divide. My delight extends further in seeing that through the Brazil Denard Award, Chorus America acknowledges the value in having choral organizations give voice to the life experiences and perceptions from people of color. My hope is that other choral organizations will engage in the same mission, be it African American culture or any variety of cultures from parts of Latin America, Asia, the Pacific Islands, the Middle East, Africa, and that list goes on. We share this world together as COVID has shown us, even through the very air that we breathe. How marvelous to use that air in creating music that tells our stories. Thank you, David. Cantare's long-standing dedication to the values exemplified by the Denard Award is truly impressive. And now for our final award, Chorus America's Distinguished Service Award. This is given to a person whose long-term service to the choral field is judged to have significantly furthered Chorus America's mission to empower singing ensembles, to create vibrant communities and affect meaningful change. I am so honored to present this award to Ise Barnwell, someone who truly embodies those words. It's very hard to think of anyone in our field who has done more to embrace and strengthen the concept of singing together as creating community. Let's hear more about Issei's remarkable career now. Isai Barnwell has made it her life's work to build a better world by bringing people together to sing. This sense of community is the through line of her legendary career as a composer, educator, and performer. As a member of the groundbreaking a cappella ensemble Sweet Honey and the Rock for 34 years, Barnwell was part of numerous recordings and led efforts to make Sweet Honey's concerts accessible to the deaf community. As a master teacher, she has created the workshop Building a Vocal Community, Singing in the African American Tradition, which for more than three decades has provided a model of pedagogy for educators and inspiration for singers and non-singers around the world. As an activist, she gives voice to social and political issues through her compositions, performances, and programs, and champions the power of music to create change. When I think of the words distinguished service, the name that comes to my mind is Issei Barnwell. She is distinguished in so many ways, what she has offered and given to all of us in music. Certainly her compositions, certainly her spirit, and distinguished also means service, and that she has provided to thousands and thousands of people across the United States and the world. Congratulations, Issei, on a very much deserved award. Recognizing her immense contributions to choral music, her boundless creativity, and her legacy of creating community through song, Chorus America honors Isai Barnwell with its 2022 Distinguished Service Award. I am deeply moved and grateful to have been selected for the prestigious Chorus America Distinguished Service Award. Thank you to all who made this possible, especially Catherine Dahoney, President and CEO, Liza Beth, Vice President of Communication, and everyone who recommended me. I am thankful for the existence of sound and all of the elements that go into the existence of sound. Intuitively, we try to contribute to those elements. The act of bringing those elements together is one of the most powerful things in the universe. 
We as human beings have been given the ability to make sound happen spontaneously, planned, created, appreciated, or not. I am grateful that that power exists and that I have had the permission and the ability to contribute to this thing called sound. I'm grateful that I can share this gift with other people. I can't take credit, but I'm thankful to my father, the violinist Irving Frederick Barnwell, and my mother, nurse and healer, Marcella Robinson Barnwell. As a young person, I remember two pivotal choral conductors who shaped me. I sang unaccompanied arranged spirituals with S. Carol Buchanan throughout my high school years. As an undergraduate at SUNY Geneseo in New York, I sang with Dr. Robert Isgro in the Chamber Singers. This was my exposure to Eurocentric choral music. The fusion of these two different cultures and two different musical styles laid the foundation without my knowing it to become a composer of choral compositions. I thank you, Chorus America, for your unparalleled leadership as advocates for artistic achievement in the field of choral music. Thank you, dear Ise. Your work has had such an impact on me and on us all. Now, my friends, please join me in a final round of applause for all of our awardees. This is truly an outstanding group of awardees, and we're thrilled to honor you all today. Thanks again to everyone for joining in this celebration. I hope to see you at the Chorus America Conference next week. <laughs>